easier for me to talk because none of the cameras are pointing at my face. You've yeah. got about five cameras to point yeah, at my face. In 2002, wow, that seems like a while ago. In 2002, um, you were writing for iMagazine, and uh, which is one of the really popular music and uh, media publications around the city. And you were doing DJ profiles. Randy came and took a photo of me, um, giving my finger to the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun, and uh, we did a little interview, and that was probably one of my first little pieces of press that I've ever had done. And may I add, my hair was bleached blonde. You were the one they were talking about. Please, that construction, darling, don't bother us right now. Because I was going out in Ottawa to the club, and I was I was going to a club called Atomic at the time. Um, uh, all the every Saturday, it was the only club really that existed in Ottawa that had a dance music. I would go there every Saturday. It was really exciting because I got to learn what the whole concept of the DJ as a superstar, the DJ as like an, an entertainer or a, um, a, a musician. And it was the first time I'd actually seen what it was all about because, you know, I was from a small town in northern Canada. And so when I went to Ottawa, that was kind of where I started to learn about life. And what town was this uh, that you were from? Thunder Bay, Ontario. You've come a long way. I certainly have. Well, in, in I'll always, you know, be, you know somebody from Thunder Bay and you know and I don't I don't uh, take away my roots for that reason uh, ever now, some exciting things are happening for your label you mentioned that you're preparing to uh, to drop a, uh, an LP or a record in a month or two or end of summer can you tell us what's going on now with your label uh, blue music uh, and what sort of future plans you have for uh, your artists and your own releases yeah um, there's so, so much coming on. The record label in the last year has taken off. It's gotten really great, big, well-known. We had a, a very successful WMC party um, this year in Miami. And I think I think the year um, leading up to it was uh, 2009 was building Blue Music into, you know, trying to make it a worldwide label and on Beatport and with, you know, A-list artists. And then basically now 2010 is for, you know, really stepping up and, and having as many releases as possible. And the concept of the label is to have as many releases as possible in all the genres, you know, that I play. Which are, you know, um, progressive, techno, um, electro house and house music and so and essentially it's all music that I like that I would play because I want to take all this music that I have on my record label and play it out in my sets to the rest of the world and showcase it to the world. So that's basically the concept of Bloom music. I have an idea of what I might play and then I just kind of feel the crowd and that's what I do. I, I don't ever um, say okay I'm playing this, 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 this and this and that'll be my eight songs and that's going to be in my set because that doesn't make um, a, a enjoyable set, I don't think, because the crowd could be into something else and you just keep on that list, you're going to take it in a completely different direction. And so for me, I'm really big on, you just feel what's going on with the crowd and you go with it. And that's that's what the concept of a DJ is. And um, as much as I am a producer on top of the DJ and playing you know, songs of my own and stuff, I still really believe in, in making the crowd happy. So. That's I'm gonna to make you shake. I'm gonna make your hand shake. I'm gonna make you shake. I'm gonna make your hand shake.